what is the four four equations of motion can you tell me one is first one is what v is equals to u plus at second one is what s is equals to ut plus half at square third one is what 2as 2as equals to is equal to u square. square and the fourth one is called as what yes sn is minus u plus 1 yes, by 2a u plus, u plus 1 by 2a minus 2a minus yes sir no? this is now yes, sir. all the four equations i taught you without using graph but now you can see this fourth equation is also is not there for a class 9 so now as we studied and we are having importance of that also so we studied that no issues now all these four equations we know how to derive mathematical way do you all know that or not yes sir yes sir everyone now but if you comes to the class 9 they will ask you you have to derive the equations of motion by using graphical method only so now if you notice it if when we will use this equ three equations can you tell me when the body is in what when the body is in only body in uniform acceleration when we can use this equations when body is in uniform acceleration so this all the equations for which one body which is traveling in uniform acceleration understand hari yes arun yes. kailash everyone so only the sequences of motion they are studying a body which is in uniform acceleration so as we studied in the last class uh, all the graphical representation of motion do you remember yesterday's class graphical representation of motion uniform non uniform motion everything now tell me the graph which is a body is already having some initial velocity and later the body is moving in a straight yeah, uniform acceleration how the graph will come you should speak it will not start from o sir uh, it so will uh, start from zero understand it will not start from zero so what is this axis called as gokul what is this axis yes, called sir. as time axis yes, sir now time axis this axis is called as what guys this yes. axis is called as what yes, velocity what is that velocity axis yes. understand so that is now you tell me body is not having initial velocity is zero body is already having some initial velocity so that that is what initial velocity we is to say yes or no guys body is already having some initial velocity from there how the body is moving from their body is moving uniform acceleration so like this it is moving is it okay guys yes sir now everyone so now this is what i can say you uniform acceleration so now body is already having some initial velocity so that initial velocity always we can represent with what let me take this is the point a and this is the point b now that initial velocity from here to here what we used to call guys is called as initial velocity u okay already body is having initial velocity now i want find the final velocity how to find the final velocity as we studied in the last class suppose i want to find the final velocity at this point b no sir. i have to find what sorry no. i have to find the slope of the body yes sir no guys yes okay. please respond so that is what so slope of the body means how i can find so this is what the slope of the body because already body is having initial velocity then this is the slope of the body will you accept it or not yes sir yes that is what so now you tell me in this initial velocity what is the initial velocity naming everybody tell me what is the initial velocity what is the initial velocity graph here initial velocity graph oa what is the initial velocity oh. oa understanding so initial velocity is equals to oa i can say now what is the final velocity guys what is the final velocity what is the final velocity final velocity is called as bc is it clear everybody now you tell me what is the time period hari oma oh, this gokul danishkar ready what is happening what is the time period time period is what oc oc so oc equals to time period do you understand everyone can you understand this terminology initial velocity is oc final velocity is bc and oc is equals to time period any doubt no sir tell me acceleration of this graph acceleration of this graph i want acceleration of this graph anybody can tell the me the bd by 
acceleration of this graph which is equals to what bd divided by what is that bd any doubt in this any doubt in this no sir no that is what clear everybody any doubt means kindly ask me because this is very very important unless if you will understand this you cannot make anything so this is what we used to call as understand a ad ad uh, sorry acceleration is equals to bd divided by ad any doubt everybody yes now shall we start solving everyone yes, sir initial velocity is sir. oe final velocity is bc and oc is equals to time and as well as a is equals to bd divided by ad now what is the first equation guys we will derive the first equation what is the first equation everybody tell me what is the first equation v is equal to u plus at u v is equals to what v is equals to what u plus at so u so keep it in all of you to derive v equals to u plus at by graphical method to derive to derive v is equals to u plus at by graphical method now once again i'm saying vartani danishkar everybody so if you want to derive the first equation of motion clear everybody we need final velocity yes or no guys yes please respond all of you yes, final velocity so in this graph in the given graph who is the final velocity what is the final velocity guys b b, b? who is what is the final velocity bc bc so bc is the final velocity we need bc which is equals to you might be notice it for example you tell me ready if i will given you 3 cm line so i can make it into 1 plus 2 is it yes or no so 1 plus 2 if i add which is equals to 3 cm just for example i am saying so similar way if you notice it bc is also sum of two parts what is the two parts anybody can tell me b d and d c d plus d c yes or no yes everybody b c is the sum of two parts that is b d plus d c will you accept it or not please respond everyone yes sir yes so b d plus d c any doubt yes sir yes now from the graph from the graph from the graph bc is equals to what guys bc is equals to what you should speak final velocity final, final velocity. velocity from the graph bc is equals to final velocity and if you take and as well as next one dc something if you look into the look look into the graph and you tell me dc is parallel to someone who is that guys dc you you need to dc is parallel to who yeo O A R E O. So, can I write in place of D C? Can I write O A? Please respond. Yes or no? Everybody. So, D C is parallel to O A. So, I can write instead of D C is parallel to O A. So, can I write instead of D C? What I can write, guys? O A, which is equals to what? O A means what? Everybody. Initial velocity. Initial velocity. Understand? So let me take. This is the equation one, and this is equation two, and this is equation three. Now substitute two and three in equation one. Understanding, everybody? Let us do it. And you should speak, yeah. Darishkar, what is happening? Arun Kailas also substitute two comma three in one. What will come, guys? You tell me. One one we can substitute. What will come? BC means what? Final velocity, which is equals to BD plus DC means what, guys? DC means U. Yes or no? Everyone. Yes, sir. Yes. Now yes, sir. we BD. So now you can see in first equation we know V is equals to U plus AT. Now we got V, we got U. Then who is remaining, guys? Who is remaining? Yes. Yeah. Acceleration and time. We want get acceleration at that EAT. So how to get acceleration? Let us see. So that is what from the graph. If you'll find the slope of the graph, what is the slope of the graph? Check it, guys. What is the slope of the graph? You have to be expert by this time. What is the slope of the graph? B D. You have to speak, guys. What is the slope of the graph? B D. B D. Divided by A D. 
Yes or no? That is what. So, from the graph, observe, from the graph, understanding, acceleration is equals to, understanding, slope of the graph. Slope of the graph. So, what is the slope of the graph, guys? BD divided by AD. Is it okay, guys? So, I can write BD divided by AD. Now, look into the graph and tell me, AD is parallel to somebody. Who is that? Harish, Danishkar, AD is What is that? AD is parallel to OC. So, now, instead of AD, what I can write? Anybody? OC. OC. AD is parallel to OC. OC is equal to what? Time. Time. Understanding? Time. So I can write A is equals to BD divided by time period. So now time is in division. Will come this side. What will become? A is equals to BD. So let us assume this is equation number four. So substitute in. So let us take this is equation number four and substitute this is equation number five. So substitute equation five in equation four. What will come around, Kailash? Substitute your vote. Substitute equation 4, sorry, equation 5 in equation 4, okay? Then what will come? V is equals to AT plus U. If we'll rearrange, V is equals to U plus AT. Any doubt? No, sir. That's all. So this is the derivation of first equation of motion. For, from where? From graphical. Gra line. Okay? So if you want to derive the first equation, which one you need to know? You need to know only final velocity. Do you understand? If you know final velocity, simply you can find it. Yes or no, guys? Yes, sir. Now, do you understand or not everybody? Now start deriving everyone. Please, make it fast. So I'll, keep, I'll slowly keep on scrolling, you can do it. So if you want to derive these equations, first of all, what you should understand? Initial velocity, bodies already must have some initial velocity. From there, the body is moving how? Moving uniform acceleration. So this is what we used to call it as velocity time graph, which is bodies already having some initial velocity. Is it okay, everyone? Clear? That is you have to understand and you have to solve it. So neatly solve. If you really understand, simply you can solve it. Yes, Mr. Danishka, have you understand? Yes, sir. Yeah. Do it fast. I understand everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Clear? Yes, please. Now, so if you'll understand this, then first equation is over. If you'll really understand, you can solve it. Clear? Any doubt? No, sir. Okay. Now, if you understand this, then solve this one. We'll go to the second equation.
Have I solved what any? I don't know. No response at all. Gokul, Kanishkar. Clear? Haram Kailash completed means respond me. I will start. Next one. Hmm. Next. Second equation. What is the second equation, guys? What is the second equation? To derive. To derive, what is the second equation? You don't know. Ut plus half at square by graphical by graphical method. So again, same graph. We no need to draw that graph again and again, but for our convenience, I'm drawing. So you just observe. So as we know the same graph, one time you can draw and you can derive all the equations, no issues. But once again, I'm drawing to make you clear. So this is what the graph, so body is already having what guys? Some? Motion. Velocity. Did you understand it? So already body is having some initial velocity. So that is what you. So from that point, if you will extend the final velocity to the time axis, this is what we used to call it as time t, and this is what we used to call it as what velocity. Clear? So velocity. So this is the point where it is a b point, and this is d point, this is c point, and this is what e point. Any doubt in this? Respond. Yes or no? Now, if you want to derive the second equation, then I'm saying you clue, I'm giving you remember. Now, you are seeing one rectangle and one triangle. Can you see the one rectangle and one triangle, everybody? In this graph, you can see one rectangle and triangle. Where you can see the rectangle and triangle? Can you tell me? This is the triangle you can able to see and this is the rectangle you can able to see. Is it yes or no, guys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, if you derive, if you want to derive the second equation of motion, very simple. So, if you want to derive, that is what you have to remember. So, the distance traveled, you can say, distance traveled is equals to, please all of you write, very simple. Distance traveled, you have to tell me guys, distance traveled is equals to area of rectangle plus area of triangle, that's all. The, it will give you the answer. So area of, a, area of a rectangle, what is that tell me? Area of a rectangle. Area of a rectangle. What is a rectangle? OADC. What is that? OADC. Plus area of a triangle. Area of a triangle. What is the triangle here? Anybody? What is the triangle? A, D and B. A, B, D. A, B, D. A, B, D. Is it clear, everyone? Triangle A, B, D. Any doubt? Yes, please. No, sir. No, clear. Now, you tell me, guys, you all know from the mathematics, area of a rectangle formula. Area of a rectangle formula. L and B. Area of a rectangle, length into breadth. Understanding. Next, area of a triangle formula. 1 by 2 into base. Yeah, 1 by 2 into length into breadth. Is it yes or no? Sir, base is height, sir. Yes, sorry. Base is height, sir. Area of triangle. Ah, area of a triangle. Uh, yeah, length into yeah. That is what base into height. Sorry, that is what. Yeah, half half bh base into height. Sorry, guys. So half into base into height. Is it okay, everyone? Shall we start solving? Yes, now, you tell me. Distance traveled is equals to area of a rectangle. What is the area of a rectangle from these words? Words tell me. I know that length into breadth. What is the length and what is the breadth here? Length so, is OC. OC. And breadth is what? Breadth is what? BC. Yeah, that is. So, distance traveled is equals to area of a rectangle. That is what we can say. OC into, what is that guys? DC. Clear? Now, we know that DC is parallel to somebody. What is that? OA. So, instead of DC, what I can write guys? OA. Clear? Next. That is what? Next, area of a triangle. Area of a triangle base. What is the triangle base here? Check it. What is the triangle base? What is the, what is the triangle base? AD. And what is the height of the triangle? Height of the triangle is? Height of the triangle? BD. BD. 
India, everybody, that is what. So the height of the triangle is, base is AD into BD is the height of the triangle. Now, you tell me guys, as we already derived in the first equation, BD is equals to what, Harry? BD is equals to AD. Next, AD is parallel to somebody. Check it and tell me, AD is parallel to whom? AD is parallel to AD is OC. parallel to OC, so which is equals to time period. DC is parallel to OA, which is equals to what? Initial velocity. Is it yes or no? Yes. Sir. Yes. So that is what. So from the graph, you can write from the graph, from the graph. Oh, DC is DC is parallel to OA. This symbol is indicating what, guys? The symbol is indicating parallel. 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 In mind. Okay. DC is parallel to OA, which is equals to U. BD is equals to AT. Uh, this is already we know that part from acceleration. What is that? From acceleration. So we already derived it. Do you remember the, we did or not? Equation one. Yes, sir. Yes, and AD is parallel to OC, which is equal to T. Ready? Have you understand it? Now, substitute the value. Yes, That's all. So now OC is equal to what? You should tell me. OC is equal to what? AD. OC is equal to T. Understanding? Into, as we know, distance traveled is yes. So DC is equal to what? DC is equal to U plus half into AD is equal to AD is equal to T into BD is equal to AT. That's all. So now you can rearrange U into T, UT plus half into T into T, T square. So AT square. AT square. So you can get it. So S is equal to UT plus half AT square. Have you got the answer? Everyone? Yes, sir. That's all. So very simple. So if you want to derive the second equation, you have to remember what? Area of a rectangle plus area of a triangle. That's all. Clear, everyone? Yes. Make it fast. If you really understand, I will be happy. No issues. If not, you ask me, I will teach again. Danishkar, you, Danishkar? Sir. Have you understand? Yes, sir. Yeah, very good. What's continue tell me? Completed, sir. Yeah. But that's completed, sir. Yes, that's fine. Now, third equation. What is the third equation? You should tell me. What is the third equation? Equal to B square minus B square. Yes, please. Speak to derive two a equals to V square minus A square. By which method? Graphical method. Graphical method. Shall we start? Yes, sir. Now, see, after this, you all need to solve. Even by yesterday itself, you have to start solving the graphical method questions. I don't think so. You all started, but you have to start. Okay. Now, to derive 2a is, is equals to v square minus e square by graphical method. Clear? Shall we start? 
Now, if you want to start solving this one, we need very simple. That is what area of a trapezium. That's all. So, what is it? What is the trapezium here? What is the trapezium here? Tell me. Yes, please. A B D C. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hmm. Sir, are you asking the formula? No, I am asking what is the trapezium you are seeing in this graph. This o A B C. Yes, sir. No. Yes, please. That's all. So you can write it. Okay. So now, if you want to derive this, the third equation, then we need a trapezium called as. What is the trapezium, guys? What is the trapezium? O A B C. Understanding everybody? So O A and B C. So now, as I said, in this, who is the parallel sides? Let me speak, everybody. Who is the parallel sides? O A is parallel to what? B C. O C is the what? O C is the height of the trapezium. Do you understand, everyone? Height of the trapezium. As I said yesterday, also S R N O R E. It's the opposite to the other. Yeah, opposite to the other. That is what trapezium we can say. And this is hypotenuse. Now, if we we'll take here, if we want to derive, then we want the formula. That is what area of a trapezium. So, what is the area of a trapezium formula? You should speak. Area of a trapezium. Area of a trapezium, so which is equals to formula. Yes, sum of speed, sum of parallel sides, sum of the parallel height. sides into height of the trapezium. Understanding into height divided by divided what? By two. That's all. Two. Okay. This is the formula. So please, everybody, write it. That is the formula we know. Yes or no? Yes. yes so now this a trapezium area of a trapezium is only called as what distance traveled what is that distance yeah distance traveled s is equals to area of a trapezium what is the area of a trapezium here area of a o a b o a b c area of a what area of a o a b c is it okay guys Area of OABC. Now, tell me what is the area of OABC? Sum of the parallel sides. What is the sum of the parallel sides here? OA plus BC. Understand everyone? OA plus OA plus BC into height. What is the height, guys? Height of the trapezium. OC. Clear everybody. OC divided by two. That is what S. Yes. So S yes is equals to this one. Any doubt? No sir. No, now, sir. Let's be seen. Now, till here. Now, from the graph, you tell me. From the graph, OA is equal to what, guys? OA is equal to what? Initial velocity. BC is equal to what? BC is equal to final velocity. Very good. And o OC is equal to? OC is equal to? Time. Time. That is what. Now, time is now is the parameter. So now substitute these values in the graph. Okay. Substitute. Substitute in equation one. Let me assume this is equation one. Substitute in where? Equation one. Is it okay, guys? Now yes, substitute sir. means what will come? You tell me what will come. Substitute means yes is equals to what will come? U plus V. Understanding into t divided by 2. Is it okay, guys? Yes? Everybody? Okay, sir. Let me write this one as u plus v or v plus u. Both are right or wrong? Same or wrong? Same only, sir. 2 plus 1 or 1 plus 2. Both are same or not? Dhanishtar, Arun Kailash. So can I write this one as v plus u divided by 2 into t? Any doubt? Anybody can ask. Yes, please. Nobody sir. Can. Yeah. Sir, this 2 is common for T also, no, sir. Just wait, wait, wait. I'm saying you. Okay? Understand? So now, you tell me, Harry, from the acceleration, see, what is this equation? In this equation, some terminology is missing. What is that missing? Missing terminology in third equation. The final velocity. No, final velocity is there, correct, Harry? Okay. Somebody is not there. Who is that, guys? Anybody? Acceleration. Time. Acceleration is not there. Who is missing? Time is time. missing. 
to we have to avoid the time so you can see from the acceleration formula from the acceleration so as we all know that so acceleration is equals to what is the formula final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time now from that so a into t which is equals to v minus u now t is equals to what guys final velocity minus initial velocity divided by acceleration is it okay yes sir yes sir that is yes, so sir. now let us take this is equation number 3 okay and substitute equation number 3 in equation number 2 so what will come guys you tell me you can take common also hari no problem same thing will come okay hari no worry yeah now substitute it what will come guys you tell me s is equals to v plus u by t sorry 2 into v minus u by a is it right or wrong everybody yes sir yes sir now which will uh, say if we we'll take common multiplication so we can take lcm 2a so what will come guys v plus u into v minus u so that is what it is so here we have to apply some algebra formula which i already taught you while i am deriving normal method like mathematical method so what is the formula suppose now 2a is in division will come this side what will become multiplication multiplication so 2as is equals to v plus u into v minus u so here you can apply mathematical formula so from algebra okay. what is that so a plus b everybody from algebra you can take what a plus b into a minus b which is equals to what a square minus b square so how it will come a into a a square a minus is there minus a b next b into a plus b a sir, next b sir. yes sorry sir here on formula is the there sir a square minus b square why you want to do like this sir no i am saying here just how the formula will come okay va okay. yeah just they cannot understand correct that is what i am saying okay multiplication guys okay. everywhere so minus ab minus plus ba will get cancel finally what will come formula a square minus b square is it okay that is the formula derivation so from this i can say instead of v i can assume as a instead of u i can assume as a b so same way you tell me now what is the formula will come according to this ready so what will come 2as is equals to v plus u into v minus u i can take what b square minus b square, square. Minus Square. So that is the formula. Yes. So this is the third equation of motion. So this is how the three equations of motion, which is in which acceleration, uniform acceleration, we are going to derive by using graphical method. So the first equation, if you want to derive, you need to know final velocity. Second equation, if you want to derive, you need to know area of it, area of a triangle, area of a rectangle plus area of a triangle. Third equation, if you want to derive, what you have to know, guys. Area of a trapezium. Understanding? So, if you remember these three equations, then this is all about the derivations. Then anything you can solve in this chapter with the help of these equations and as well as this graphical method. So, hope you all understand how to solve graphical method. Now, third equation you can solve, and everybody by next offline class, everyone should learn all the three equations by graphical method and four equations by mathematical method everything next uh, offline class you have to derive first 30 minutes is it okay guys everybody must learn and come i'm saying you very seriously everybody should write okay danishka this is a third equation okay third equation right third equation area of a trapezium so solve it now third equation so this is all about it so any doubt hope i have you understand everybody yes sir yeah. any doubt yes, anyone arun kailash No sir. Ready, Dar Arangalas. Ready. Is it writing? Writing not solve. You have to solve your own. Okay, ba. Okay, sir. Hmm. We make it. So this is all about it. So now everybody try to solve. Then only people can understand. So third equation, which term is missing? 
time is missing. Time. Second equation, final velocity is missing. First equation, who is missing? Distance is missing. Be careful. First equation, no distance. Second equation, no final velocity. Third equation, no time period. Is it understand everybody? Yes or no? So that is why. Right. The first equation also we can call it as what? Velocity time equation. What is that? Velocity time equation. And the second equation, what we used to call? Last class also I told you. Distance only we used to call it as what? Position. So position and time okay. equation. And the third one, what we used to call? You have to tell me. What we used to call it as? Position and velocity. Position. position and velocity equation. Position and velocity. In exam, they'll ask you derive the position and velocity graph. You have to derive the third graph. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Yes, that is what. Okay, everyone.